If you're using OBS portable mode, you might be having some issues with your Stream Deck connecting to this portable version of OBS. If you're getting the issue of Elgato Remote Control plugin is missing, there's like an error that'll pop up on your actual Stream Deck side. Here's a way you can fix that and it's thankfully relatively simple. You're going to need two things. If you go to Elgato's download page and you select your product, which in our case is a Stream Deck and I'm just going to use a regular one. I'm on Windows and then you download this. This will download a .msi executable file. Next, you're going to need 7-zip. This is an open open source WinRAR alternative that you'll need to actually be able to open up an archive to be able to pull something out. So once you have both of these downloaded, make sure you have 7-zip installed. In our case here, I've got this .msi from the Stream Deck right here. Go ahead and right click it after you have your 7-zip installed and go to open archive. Once the archive is open, tap S a few times and you're looking for Stream Deck plugin .dll. Once you have found this, find where your portable OBS install is at. Mine is just a completely fresh install so you can all see this. Go into here, go into your OBS-plugins 64-bit. Take that Stream Deck plugin .dll and drag it on over into your 64-bit OBS plugins. Release that and that's now down inside of here. Go to your bin 64-bit underneath your OBS and start it up using the obs64.exe. And now when you click on tools, you'll see right here that you have the Elgato remote control for OBS Studio. This will now let you use your Stream Deck to control portable versions of OBS. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, Happy streaming.